to a monumental challenge. This is comfortably top two in Spain, undisputed top two of Siski and Andres FN. So, like, you've got a hell of a thing to prove, and it could be against a, a variety of characters here. You're rocking with the Toon Link. We'll have to see what it can do in the face of Andres' first choice here being this Terry. Yeah, and of course, Toon Link as well, not being the most common character. We've seen Toon Link pop up here and there. Of course, the UK, we've got our very own scores who has shown the mass, mass potential with the character. Certainly, you know, Andres at this level, matchup inexperience is not something that you tend to worry about, particularly with the Terry in hand as well, electing for that little bit more mobility that you get against Zonas. And oh my goodness, just trying to drift away, but getting caught by that neutral B and being sent all the way to the left hand blast. And Andres, very, very strong lead at the moment. Starting off in town and city, and you are starved for stage space off stage. You've got that great aerial drift, but that doesn't matter if you're that close to the blast zone, as we are here on town. And now Ellie's got, got to try and play this nickel and dime game, but from a significant deficit, and that is never a fun game to play against someone as precise and as bloodthirsty as Andres FN, Joycey. So, so scary, right? Because you've got this character where you've got to create that space and try and get anything started in Toon Link. And then Andres is not only willing to cover that space and close that space, but then is also willing to get right up in your face. Oh my goodness. And what a bit of a statement. If that was a miss input, then that was maybe the best miss input I've ever seen. Nearly getting the kill off the side with down air, which is something I was not ready for. Very clutch air dodge there. Terry, of course, flashing with go. And all you are doing is going straight to that blast zone. That comeback mechanic that is also a lead extender. Terry Bogard shows no mercy. Yeah, we saw like, oh my goodness, look at this combo. I don't have any time to speak about a damn thing because Andres has already ripped your soul from your body and cast you into the depths. That is, uh, th that was just horrifying. I, I, I start thinking about, I was trying to give Ellie some credit. I start thinking about, oh, you know, you STI'd out up of the, the combo into the attempted Buster Wolf and air dodged out. And before I can even formulate that thought into some sort of verbiage, uh, ping pong, ping pong, ping. And if the spike wasn't enough, uh, I am going to come down there and teach you a lesson. Oh my god, I, uh, good morning everyone. Ooh. Hope you've been enjoying Tech Republic too. If you're not awake now, god damn, you should be. What a, what a way to end it. And particularly after the slow pace of the game all the way throughout that point, just to end it like that. Ellie just blinked and suddenly they were in the bottom left of the blast zone wondering what the hell happened. But certainly not going to let it deter him at this point. We are going to Smashville, a slightly smaller stage here, potentially allowing... Maybe a little bit more combo potential from Toon Link. Maybe allowing that little bit of shelter underneath the platform. But again, anything you can do, Andres can do just that little bit better. And then some. And the bomb actually potentially saving Ellie from being sent that little bit further. And the back throw, it's just rinse and repeat, Galaxy. I, I, I really don't know what to say at this point. Just the, the, the space being squeezed away. You've got a bit more off-stage space this time, and that is kind of your safe zone a little bit, but no shelter. Oh, hang on! Surviving that rising tackle at like 130-odd. Go on, then. I'm surprised about that, but not surviving that stage spike off the forward air. An unfortunate miss, Tech. And now, once again, you've got all the work still to do. There we go. At least that uh, boomerang able to catch the crack shoot, but just not quite able to get the forward air and now we are back to the andres fn show looking like dark stalker with these crack shoots honestly and it's so so difficult for early it just feels like early has not managed to get a single thing started all the way throughout this game andres has been doing a really good job at playing at this close range where even pulling a bomb is scary and throwing the bomb seemingly is even scarier and oh my goodness just don't let it happen to you again don't let it happen to you again Andres, please it's 10 o'clock in the morning hello ellie this has been your um 11 a.m local time wake up call cool. <laughs> uh i mean like I, I i really can't fault you what what 
What do you do? I I feel like the way that Ellie's playing this is how you're supposed to play this as Toon Link. You're, you're quite short ranged. You're like slightly outranged, in fact. Uh, even though you've got your disjoints, uh, uh, just because like uh, of Terry's burst range and his uh, his potential um, reach, but. So you're supposed to spend a lot of time off stage and like in the depths, like just trying to, trying to, but, but, but when you've got someone who's so willing to just hunt you down like Andres is, I really don't know how you edit your game plan. Cause look at the situations he puts you in with just a nair or a forward air. You're just suddenly in the worst time of your life. But we are seeing already early beginning to get little bits and pieces started not necessarily the full-on extensions that he wants but he's certainly being able to get that damage on the board nearly being able to close out a stock at the moment and i love that slightly earlier up b just to anticipate that edge guard attempt there from andres and nearly getting that forward i would have led to an edge guard situation potentially into a stock and it's just that suffocating oh. pressure early starting to breathe again yeah, you, just, you just see the way that these jumps are getting scouted. Look at the dash forward, dash back. But the bomb isn't quite going to confirm into a kill. We've got a neutral get up, Buster Wolf, covered by the smoke. Actually, completely invisible Buster Wolf. That is horrifying. And I have no idea how Ellie avoided it. But Ellie tapped in, it seems. But once again, not respecting the plus frames of the auto cancel power dunk able to get a bomb conversion into the forward air and this is where you have to plant your stake in the ground and make your stand yeah i mean a stock has been taken and that is a different a stock could be taken a game could be taken and hopefully beyond but of course andre's not going to be letting that pressure get any easier to deal with trying to get that tech chase there the fourth throw back there and just a lovely little parry just trying to get that forward smash but Andres not letting that pressure, just these little tiny hits, they add up to so, so much more. These nickels and dimes are making Andres look like a millionaire at the moment. Oh my goodness gracious. He, he just, he finds the apps, he, he just knows his roots from any situation. He knows if you jump here, I'm gonna kill you at 70. If you roll into me here, I'm gonna kill you at 80. I, I know what one mistake will cost you. Oh, but in finding a weird situation, trying to air dodge up and away ends up sort of wall teching off the back of it. So I'm just not quite sure what to do. And a fantastic parry to get you out of that horrible situation for early. Trying to hold on. Oh my goodness, the power dunk going the wrong way. But at 94%, you can't help but feel that the end is nigh here for early. So, so difficult. And once again, you're stuck at the ledge where Andres has been getting most of his meals. And there it goes, that little conversion all the way to the top of the blast zone. It's felt like Ellie was really getting to grips with his game plan, but it just took a couple of games too long for it to get there. But that adaptation that we were seeing there, that the conversions that he was getting and the the fact that even after getting three stock twice, he kept his mental and didn't let that break. That's going to be irreplaceable in the loser's bracket. Oh, no, that